Welcome to the blockchain learning series presented by Blockchain Gate. Today we talk about why was Bitcoin created. The birth of Bitcoin came about by the financial crisis of 2008. Big banks were on the verge of collapse and stock markets were crashing. Public wealth and well-being was dwindling at a great speed. A valid question was raised. Who can we trust if we cannot trust our banks, our governments, and our currency? Out of the chaos, there came an answer. In a white paper released in 2008 by an unknown person or group of persons named Satoshi Nakamoto. Satoshi released a white paper called Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system to subscribers of a cryptography mailing list. Interestingly enough, the term blockchain is not anywhere in the Bitcoin white paper. The Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer cash system turned out to be revolutionary. Satoshi wrote that transacting on the internet relies on financial institutions like Visa, MasterCard, or other acting third parties to process current financial transactions. These parties are based upon the transacting parties trusting a third party to process their transactions. Since a third party has to be trusted, there is room for a transaction to be reversed or to be tampered with. Payment uncertainties can be avoided in person by using physical currency, but no way exists to make payments online without the presence of a trusted third party. This is difficult for businesses now that are international and people who are dispersed all over the world. Bitcoin represented a way to transact without using a third party, peer-to-peer, -peer, fully trustless. Since financial institutions are acting as trusted third parties to facilitate the transactions, which are prone to fraud and disputes, transaction costs also become expensive. To overcome this problem, Satoshi introduced the electronic payment system based on cryptography. This allows two parties to interact with each other without a third party getting in the way. Since these cryptographic transactions are computationally impossible to reverse, users are protected from fraud and other misdeeds. As Satoshi said himself, the root problem with conventional currency is all the trust that's required to make it work. The central bank must be trusted not to debase the currency, but the history of fiat currencies is full of breaches of that trust. Banks must be trusted to hold our money and transfer it electronically, but they lend it out in waves of credit bubbles with barely a fraction in reserve. We have to trust them with our privacy. Trust them not to let identity thieves drain our accounts. Satoshi enlisted the help of many core developers to make the promise of Bitcoin come true. Developer Hal Finney received the first Bitcoin transaction from Satoshi on the first day of the software release. He created the first proof of work system in 2004 that is the basis of the Bitcoin consensus system. Gavin Andreessen was chosen by Satoshi to lead the Bitcoin core development. He was an early player that helped with the general development of the protocols. Nick Zabo designed Bitgold in 1998, a precursor to Bitcoin, which the Bitcoin white paper was strongly based off of. Further on, he invented the term smart contract. This allows two parties to interact with each other without a third party getting in the way. After three years of strong development, Satoshi disappeared. On April 23, 2011, Nakamoto sent Bitcoin core developer Mike Hearn a brief email. He said, I've moved on to other things. The future of Bitcoin was in good hands. In his wake, Nakamoto left behind a vast collection of writings, a premise on the workings of Bitcoin, and the most influential cryptocurrency ever created. After Satoshi's disappearance, many were left to wonder, who is Satoshi Nakamoto? This question is a mystery unto itself. Many suspect one of the core developers, Hal Finney or Nick Sable. Some have even speculated that a group of companies are behind the mystery person. In 2014, we also had the case of a mistaken Satoshi. Dorian Nakamoto was wrongly identified as being the inventor of Bitcoin. The 64-year-old was less than enamored with the digital currency at the time, which had caused him nothing but grief and unwanted media attention. After this unfortunate situation, it says softened as he was raised over 67 BTC from the Bitcoin community. 
we've also had the case of the self-proclaimed Satoshi. In 2015, computer scientist Craig Wright claimed that he was the rightful Satoshi Nakamoto. But experts didn't buy his technical proof and deemed his claims to be a scam. He then retreated, stating he didn't have the courage to continue his claim. Unfortunately for Mr. Wright, he is now being sued for more than $10 billion by the founding of his ex-Bitcoin mining business partner. The lawsuit alleged that Wright perpetrated a scheme. Unfortunately, almost a decade after the Bitcoin white paper surfaced, we still do not know who Satoshi Nakamoto is. But it is believed that Satoshi Nakamoto owns 1 million Bitcoin or more. This makes Satoshi's net worth, at the time of this video, about $9 billion US. Some of Bitcoin's detractors have called it a Ponzi scheme because of the untraceable founder who owns such a significant share of the coins available. If you like this video, like and subscribe to The Blockchain Gate for more amazing content.